Hey, Lee here with Seven Sparrows Farm, and in this video we are talking about how to raise chickens and turkeys on pasture. Now, we have about 38 uh, chickens, egg layers, uh, of all kinds of different breeds, and then we have about seven turkeys right now, and our goal is to get down to three turkeys. We're going to put some in the freezer, um, may sell one or so to some friends, it depends on if my wife uh, wants to go in that direction. But um, we're going to go ahead and show you our setup, show you our uh, mobile coop and the mo mobile um, uh, turkey roost and uh, kind of go from there. So if this is the kind of information you like watching, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Let's get started. So as you can see, this is the pasture here that the, the uh, turkeys and chickens are raised on. Uh, we have a creek that runs along here and they get to eat on all this lush grass. We move them about three times um, or every three days, I should say. And I was trying to get a wide shot here so you can see them because once I get a little closer, everybody's gonna run up to the fence because I have the nummies that they want. Starting off, we run one of the uh, Premier electric fences. We actually have two uh, rows of the fencing that we attach. Um, and we have the IntelliShock uh, 60, which uh, we'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. One thing I found is turkeys are very inquisitive. It's kind of funny. The chickens are off doing their thing and the turkeys will kind of hang out and crowd right next to you. Um, it was a little, at first, a little bit unsettling because we used to have a rooster that would attack uh, you. He'd try to get behind you and then go after you. But the turkeys, it's, it's like they have turkey contact comfort. Uh, they just want to be around. They want to see what you're doing and hang out. Let me watch this. I'm going to see if I can pick them up. I come over here. <laughs> they'll all come over this way. Okay, they wanted to demonstrate how they roost up here. So they hopped up to show you, YouTube world, what they do. Okay, let's talk for a minute about the mobile roost and the chicken coop, the mobile coop. Now, obviously, both of them have wheels because they're mobile. This is the Justin Rhodes Chickshaw 2.0. We did another video on that. I'll try to put it in the top right of the corner so that you can see what we did to, to change it up just a little bit to make it work for us. As you can see right here, the turkeys will come under here on a hot day. They will get in the shade. They will relax. Turkeys at night, if you don't know, like to roost. And in nature, I think they just jump up into to tall uh, trees because if you've never seen a turkey, they can jump 20 feet up in the air. We'll fly, I guess. Um, but, um, but anyways, they, they go up here, they rest up here at night. You'll see two of them on this top, these top two rungs here. And actually last night we had one of them sleep in with the chickens, which is kind of funny. As far as the chicken coop is, or goes, the girls sleep in here, the top of this roof here, uh, pops off and they kind of come in there. It's kind of dark at the moment because I'm shooting this with one hand. We switch the back of our coop up so that um, you can reach in here and grab eggs. So we go like that. That's one of the variations that we, we changed up versus the traditional model. If it gets really warm or if the chickens see a hawk, they will come in here or they will come under the coop. And obviously this, we have our, our nesting boxes in here and this is where they hang out. So there are actually a lot of them under here. I don't know if they saw something recently or if they're, they're just warm, which I see I'm panting a little bit. And the other funny thing is obviously sometimes they will, they will crowd the same box sometimes because they're silly. As far as safety and security is concerned, this premier fence it will run anywhere between 2,500 to 8,000 volts, depending on how tall the grass is and if there's anything grounding it out a bit. But it's usually at least 2,500 volts. So we've not really had a lot of problems with predators. We had one time where we forgot to turn the fence on and a dog got in and took a couple of the birds. And then there's another situation where a hawk had flown down and tried to grab one of the birds. It was too big and the hawk flew off. Ever since we've had the turkeys though, that's not really been an, uh, an issue. I'm wondering if the turkeys are, are maybe a little intimidating because of the size. I, I don't know. I'm not a hawk. <laughs> um, but at night, the chickens are uh, 
are locked up, they're super secure, the turkeys are roosting off the ground, and we've not really had any major issues as far as security is concerned, probably because of this, this fence here. If something with a wet nose goes and touch 2,500 volts, it, they're gonna have a bad night. Now, some people will ask, you know, are we worried about the turkeys flying out, getting away? We've only had one girl actually uh, make it out. And uh, as you can see right over here, she was uh, right over here one morning uh, when I came to, um, to let the chickens out. And she came right back to the fence. I picked her up and put her in. Um, they don't seem to want to go anywhere. We did clip one side uh, of their wings. Uh, so I think it was the right, right hand side. We clipped that um, so that if they did want to fly or try to get out, they're just going to wind up, um, they're going to wind up kind of going lopsided. So they don't really go anywhere. Now you might be able to see here the, the difference in levels of grass. You can see this is a little more uh, worn down and this is uh, more lush. Um, we actually have uh, we move the chickens, like I said, and turkeys every three days or so. So they're getting a lot of fresh uh, grass. We're moving the, their whole setup. We move the chicken tractor and the mobile coop. We move them every day, but we move them, uh, they're on the same area for about three days. Uh, tomorrow, they're gonna wind up being on this kind of lush grass. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, they're gonna be moved uh, this direction and that we'll probably have three or so more um, spaces here for them to go into. All right, so it's the next morning. Hopefully you can see here on the video, uh, this grass is way tall. This is the grass that they were on yesterday and, um, or the past three days, I should say. Uh, it rained really heavily this morning, so the temperature has cooled down significantly. It was actually almost a little bit chilly, but uh, turkeys and chickens are out here. They want some more scratch feed. Let me climb over here without falling down. Um, yeah, you can see this grass is a lot taller. Um, they're gonna come out here and eat all of this up and then poop and just you know, have the grass nice and fertilized. It's just gonna get better. Uh, you probably can't see this grass over here. This grass out here is really lush. We, we had them there a few months, a few months back, um, but they just really keep the pasture really nice and kind of regenerating good quality grass out here. I did want to talk about two things regarding the uh, turkeys. Now turkeys need higher protein than chickens do, or at least uh, egg layers. So when you first have your turkeys, if you get them as poults, you're going to want to get, I believe it's 18 to 20 percent um, protein. They need that uh, extra protein. So you're going to want to keep them separated to feed them that. Um, and then as we move them out here, once they got big enough, we wound up um, kind of mixing the, the chicken's main feed and the turkey's feed. We also, I, I may have mentioned this earlier, I don't recall, we also have the chickens up at night so the turkeys are roaming around and while we're moving a fence, getting water, those kind of things, we'll put some of the turkey's higher protein feed um, in their uh, feeder and that way they get first dibs. They kind of go at that for a little while and just make sure they get um, you know, that extra protein that they need. One other thing you need to know about uh, that you'll hear warnings on is something called blackhead. And that is a uh, disease that turkeys can get that can be caused, or I guess carried by chickens. So you wanna do a little research on that. Um, I'm not sure if you have to see specifically if that's in your area or not. My wife knows more about that side of things, but uh, something you wanna definitely take a look into if you're considering raising turkeys and chickens. Uh, together. I know a ton of people though who raise them together that have no problem with it, uh, but it is something you want to be aware of. Finally, I wanted to say this is how we are raising our birds right now. If you have ever had a homestead, ever had a farm, things change, you rotate. When you encounter something, you adjust and make tweaks to that. So it may be that if the turkeys were to uh, get too big, uh, starting to get aggressive, anything like that, that we have moved them out, moved them to a separate spot. But as of right now, they're doing really good and um, having a good time being out here with the girls and eating this lush grass. 
I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe uh, to see more video content like this. And also check out our new series that we're putting together on first aid on the farm. Uh, my wife is a nurse of, of 20 years, a very smart lady, and she's showing you how to do a lot of things that you might need one day. So uh, make sure to subscribe, check that out, and we'll talk to you on the next video.